Hi everyone, I'm Dara Zook here in Calgary and running for uh, the Calgary Board of Ed Education uh, School Board Trustee in Wards 12 and 14, that's Southeast Calgary. Uh, today I'm talking about school councils. Uh, for some of you that don't know, uh, school councils are part of the legislation of the Education Act here in Alberta and they're required in every school. They're made up of parents, uh, also the legislation says that the uh, principal and some teachers teachers uh, are part of them as well. Uh, goodness, I have all the appreciation in the world uh, for those of you that are on school councils. My goodness, I'm on, on quite a few boards myself and uh, <laughs> it's rewarding but it's also very challenging with people and uh, outside people's expectations of you and the things that you're asked to do and the things you're asked to sacrifice in, times, in terms of time and money and time away from your family. So uh, I appreciate all of you um, for you those of you that are not on school council uh, you got kids in school step up find out what they need support them they're good people uh, that have taken the time to uh, make sure that your kids are um, uh, the best is happening for your kids so support them uh, let me uh, so more broadly as a trustee I've been uh, looking at how I can support and make uh, an impact um, in the in the system and um, goodness I've got kids uh, their ages five seven and nine so my youngest is just going into uh, uh, kindergarten it means I've got 12 years ahead of me if I'm successful in this election I expect that I will be around for 12 years as I uh, watch my kids uh, go through the system that being said uh, I want to make sure that I've got good relationships with all you guys in school councils and that I'm uh, performing uh, acceptably I also follow someone named uh, Jordan Peterson and uh, one of the things that he said is uh, goodness of course when I need it it's not here it's not always the truth Okay, here we go. Uh, rule number uh, one from the second list. Do not carelessly denigrate social institutions or creative in achievements. So I think number one, the CBE is an incredibly complex uh, institution that's been developed over the last 100 years and it's got amazing passionate people in it. Uh, that being said, uh, I think us as parents have different expectations about what uh, needs to happen uh, for the best of our children. Uh, within, uh, within the school board, and I think Alberta in general, uh, parents are the primary authority in the lives of our children, and that has to always be the case. Not the schools, not the province, not other levels in government. Parents are the primary authority in the lives of the children. Okay, uh, I don't want to ramble too much here. I do want to talk about uh, trustee relationship or responsibilities because um, that's that's really important for us to get stuff uh, done as well. The legislation of the Education Act in Section 33 says trustees a board uh, uh, trustee of a board a partner in education has a responsibility to a fulfill the responsibilities of the board, uh, be present and participate in meetings of the board and committees of the board, uh, c comply with the board's code of conduct, and d uh, engage parents, students, and the community in matters related to education. That's it. That's section 34. That's the responsibility of the trustees. And I'm sure there's a lot of other policies and a lot of other things that people say trustees should do, and they probably should, but the legislation, that's the four points. And so the last one, uh, it doesn't say engage uh, the school. I imagine it has to do with the meetings in point B, but engage parents, students, and the community in matters of related to education in my opinion uh, that means the school council you guys who are in the school council uh, taking up time for meetings doing uh, the fundraiser on that other side of that fence there and uh, and just fielding uh, calls and I know from my board experience lots of them are crazy calls so I appreciate that I want to um, hear from you guys more um, case in point is this uh, thing about COVID now 
Um, I know what my feelings are on the matter, and uh, I've heard from a lot of teachers. We certainly know what the policy of the school board is, um, and uh, I imagine that you guys don't feel uh, that you have the authority or the ability to do anything, and I think that's where the school board trustee uh, may very well come in. Uh, the school board and the school is there on on the behalf of teachers and uh, and students and the trustee is there to represent the uh, engaged parents and students and there's in community related education we're there for uh, to hear what you guys have to say in my uh, opinion in terms of covid uh, like I say, the school board certainly has its opinion. Uh, I've been door knocking uh, across wards 12 and 14, and I hear um, voices uh, from from parents um, that are generally they want no masks, um, and I think you folks in school councils have a your your thumb on the heartbeat a lot more of what's going on what parents need and that's where i uh, i would really like to hear from you COVID is just one example uh, there there's going to be hundreds of examples over uh the next uh four-year term and the next four-year term and the next four-year term as well um, and so i really want to hear from you guys uh immediately uh, obviously, I'm just a candidate right now, but I would certainly love the opportunity to come out and um, hear uh, from from you all uh, what's going on in the council, what what you guys need to succeed, uh, what you need from your school board uh, trustee, um, and uh, just how how things are going. Um, I also, uh, you know, if you're successful or if, <laughs> if, if that goes well and, uh, and you like me, uh, obviously school council can't uh, promote a single candidate, uh, but personally I, I would really appreciate um, uh, if, uh, if you can uh, put your name forward to put a sign on your, on, on your yard. Um, I'm definitely looking for donations to help fund those signs. So uh, if you uh, are familiar with uh, anyone uh, that can help that way as well. I'm doing a lot of social media posts. So I appreciate it if you share those as well and comment and engage. That would be fantastic. And um, what else? Oh, I got a, I got a caveat. So here, here comes the fine print. Uh, one of the uh, one of the issues with school board trustee position is that uh, as far as the legislation goes, uh, it's a, it's a volunteer position, just like what you guys are doing in this in the uh, school uh, school council. Uh, so I need to maintain a full time job on the side, uh, as most trustees do, and uh, there is an honorarium, but. Um, goodness it's certainly not a wage that i can support my family on so uh that's that's the fine print i'm high energy and tenacious and looking to uh help uh get a better education for our kids um but uh like you uh there's some time constraints with this position okay that's it my website together dot for a stronger alberta dot ca Thanks for uh, checking me out, and I look forward to meeting uh, a lot of you in person. I'm Darzu. Thanks for watching.